Have you ever pondered over the key differences between psychopaths and narcissists? These two personality types often get mixed up, but understanding their unique characteristics can be crucial in navigating complex relationships and identifying potentially harmful individuals. It's important to tread with sensitivity here and avoid slapping labels or perpetuating harmful stereotypes. Let's dive into some key differences, focusing on observable behaviors and patterns. Psychopaths are often driven by a desire for power, control and self-gratification. They tend to lack empathy and conscience, which makes their actions calculated and manipulative to achieve their goals. Narcissists, on the other hand, are primarily driven by a need for admiration and validation. Their inflated sense of self-importance fuels their constant craving for attention. They're adept at manipulating and exploiting others to maintain their image. When it comes to empathy and emotional connection, psychopaths typically show a profound lack. They struggle to understand or care about the feelings of others, often displaying callous and indifferent behavior. Narcissists, while they may display superficial empathy or use emotional manipulation, often struggle with genuine emotional connection. They prioritize their own needs and desires above all else. Impulse control and behavior can also be distinguishing factors. Psychopaths may exhibit impulsivity and a disregard for consequences, leading to risky or reckless behavior. They may even engage in criminal activities without feeling any remorse. Narcissists, however, while possibly engaging in manipulative or deceptive behavior, usually maintain a facade of control and avoid overt law-breaking. Their focus is more on manipulating social situations to their advantage. In terms of relationship patterns, psychopaths often form superficial and exploitative relationships. They discard individuals when they no longer serve their purpose and may even resort to violence and aggression. Narcissists, on the contrary, may form intense and passionate relationships initially, but these often become one-sided and emotionally draining. They may use emotional blackmail and control tactics to maintain their grip on their partners. It's essential to remember that these are general distinctions and individual experiences can vary within each category. Diagnosing personality disorders is a complex task that should be left to qualified mental health professionals. This information should serve educational purposes only and not be used to diagnose or self-diagnose any condition. The focus should be on understanding the potential harm caused by individuals with these traits and seeking support for victims of manipulation or abuse. If you're worried about your relationship with an individual exhibiting these behaviors, don't hesitate to seek professional help. Therapists and counselors can offer support and guidance to navigate these challenging situations. Remember, you're not alone and help is available. The complexity of human behavior is vast and understanding these differences is just a small step towards fostering healthier relationships and communities.